عبد الحميد says what is the basic Islamic education required for a common Muslim what is the basic Islamic education required for common Muslims first of all Islamic knowledge has two types or two branches one which no Muslim is excused not to know and two something that only specialized Muslims must know and the rest of the population are exempted so at the moment each and every Muslim must know how to pray because you do this five times a day. If you come and say, Sheikh, for the past 20 years, Wallahi, I didn't know that Fajr was two rak'ah. This is not accepted from you. If a man comes and says, Sheikh, I've been Muslim all of my life, but I never knew that intercourse during the daytime of Ramadan while fasting is haram. I thought only eating and drinking. This is not accepted from you. Because you are in a country, you are in a community, you are in a place where Muslims are everywhere. Your ignorance in learning your religion of what is essential, what is required, is unexcusable. So this branch, we all have to know. The other branch, which deals with usul al-fiqh, for example, or the uh, uh, what they call the legal maxims the qawaid al fiqhiyya and the qaida of al umur bi maqasidiha things are judged by their intentions and how it goes this is not for you and me this this is for specialized people when we talk about the rulings of companies and how to judge them where is wh whether it is a mudaraba or a company of anan or uh, something else this is only for specialists who deal with transactions it's not for any tom dick or harry so what is essential and required for each and every individual to learn are the basics what are the basics sheikhs the basics is to know the pillars of Islam when you need to know them. So fasting and praying, you have to know the rulings of that. Zakat, you don't have to know the rulings until you have the threshold, the nisab. If someone is stone broke and he's poor, he doesn't have anything, and we come say, hey, listen, tell me, what is the threshold of gold? Is it 85 grams? Is it 90? Is it 20? So how would I know? I never, I've never seen gold in front of me. So we say, no, this is not required for you. Someone who does not have the ability to perform Hajj, no problem for you to not know which comes first, Arafah or Muzdalifah. No problem. So the vast majority of Muslims must know the pillars of Iman. So they have to know Allah Azza wa Jal. They have to know the day of judgment and what is revolving around it. The existence of heaven and hell, the existence of the angels, the existence of devils, previous messengers and prophets and the uh, 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 sacred uh, noble books of Allah Azza wa Jal, etc. The predestiny they have to believe in all of this and know them. This is a prerequisite for being a Muslim. Among other things, they have to know the prohibition of intoxicants, of zina, of murder, of stealing, of slandering. These are all basics. And it is imperative. Yani, you guys should know. You're watching Ask Zad. What does Ask Zad mean? It's, it's over here, Ask Zad. What is Ask Zad? Zad is an Islamic channel. What does it do? It propagates Islam. It teaches Islam what a Muslim cannot 
do without. So we only see your program in English, Sheikh. Yes, but Zad TV channel has a beautiful academy which airs on our channel 12 hours a day. What is this academy? It is a two-year diploma, four semesters, where you learn Quran, Tafsir, Hadith, Fiqh, Seerah, Islamic education, and Arabic. Seven subjects. The beauty of it is, it's all in Arabic, systematic, quizzes every week, midterms, finals, and the best part of it, it is totally free. It is integrate, uh, integrated with YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and you have your own page on their website, and it's totally free. Everything coming to you is free, and it teaches you what you cannot do without about your religion, what is required for you as basic knowledge. And I invite those who can speak Arabic to log in to Zad Academy and to contribute because Alhamdulillah with almost 25,000 graduates up to date and with almost 100,000 students online, they are Alhamdulillah spreading the good word and they are preparing the Muslims to know what is essential, how to pray, how to understand the Quran, how to know the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ. You ask Muslims worldwide, when was the battle of Uhud? A long time ago. How would I know? It gives you this basic knowledge uh, and inshallah it will be beneficial.